What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and guys, let me tell you right now, we got ourselves a banger of a video. We got ourselves a thick fat weakness policy wall ring team sent in by my boy Gale. Gale, thank you so much for dropping this team. It looks amazing. Looks so strong. I cannot wait to show it off. You guys already know the deal. If you guys are hyped for today's video or just want to support the channel, scroll down a little bit and click that little like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that as well and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all my videos. But yo, this team's looking fire. We're gonna start off with wall ring over here. Ice and water typing. We haven't shown them off since the Crown Tundra has released, but I really want to considering I really did like them in Gen 3. He was always on my teams whenever I was doing playthroughs on it. So I really do like this Pokemon. It's got that thick fat ability, weakness policy over here, and then an amazing moveset of Avalanche, Liquidation, Protect, and EQ. Right next to it, we got one of the best support mods in the game right now. We got Confi with Triage ability and Leftovers with Giga Drain so we can trigger weakness policy, Draining Kiss, Alex Switch, and Floral Healing. Right behind my face cam, we got the boy making a comeback in Series 7. We got Rotom Heat. Pizza Oven Dude over here with Levitate Ability, I Pop a Berry, and then a fairly normal moveset for him with Overheat, Volt Switch, Dark Pulse, and Ally Switch. On the right side, somebody who can thrive over here, we got Crocodile with that Anger Point and Figgy Berry. This thing is an absolute beast. You guys already know how hard this thing can hit, especially if they're rolling Trick Room teams. This thing's rather slow, so we can actually just play him in the Trick Room and roll out from there. This thing has Darkest Lariat and EQ for stab move, Outrage to take out some Dragon Pokemon and for a coverage move, and then Protect as its final move. Bottom left corner, we got the one, the only Toad Kiss. Hasn't really used this in a while, even though it's been back in Series 7. I feel like it's kind of been taking a hit ever since it's got the ban and come back. You just haven't seen it as much as there's new Pokemon that are uh, that are viable, just as good as it. This thing has Super Luck, Scope Lens, Dazzling Gleam, Extreme Speed, Follow Me, and Air Cutter. And then in the final spot, I really do like this Pokemon right here. We got Toxic Croak over here with the Dry Skin and the Muscle Man. This Pokemon is really, really strong. It's got Sucker Punch, or not Sucker Punch, Bullet Punch. Poison Jab, Brick Break, and Knock Off. So we can take off items, we can break screens, we can have first turn priority with Bullet Punch, and then we have Poison Jab, poison jab for a big old stab damage. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Once again, we're back on the casual ladder, considering two of these Pokemon are not battle mark ready. Guys, if you are going to send me in teams, make sure they are ready for rank. It makes things so much easier. I know a lot of you guys would rather see rank battles, but hopefully you guys don't mind the casual battles just as well. But here we go. First battle going up against a Lugia right here. That's actually pretty cool, though. This is this is exactly why I like playing casual sometimes, too, because we get some new crazy stuff like Lugia, Dragonite, My Shell. Galarian Zapdos, Keldeo, is that how you pronounce it? Keldeo, Keldeo, I don't even know. I think it's Keldeo. And uh, Alolan Malak. Okay, how are we going to roll out here? I kind of want to just trigger weakness policy and roll out. Let's go. Let's go Wall Ring Confi and just try to roll out here. Get going strong. Um, who else does he have? It's the bird. He has all that good stuff. I kind of want to bring Rotom Heat. He's not bad here. Rotom Heat always be doing some work. We got that, those electric moves. Um, he has that fire Pokemon, which um, Wall Ring can just tank up. Um, hmm. Let's go Rotom. And then I think Toxicroak as like a back end Pokemon is just fine. I think we're thriving with that. But yo, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good for some wins. We're all blacked out today. We got our black shirt. I got black shorts on. You guys can't see. Black hat. Black uh, headset. My microphone's black. I got my black cup with my black drink. Black on Blackberry. So we were just decked out today. We were ready to go. We're feeling all good today. <laughs> it's just, the fruit's even a Blackberry in the drink. Like, like what more do you guys want? But yo, I love this G Fuel flavor. It's uh, black on Blackberry. Yo, it's fire. G Fuel, if you're watching this, Sponsor me. I'm down for it. I'm down for it. We'll get something going. <laughs> but he's going to throw out Keldeo and uh, Galarian Zapdos. And we got Confi and Wolverine just chilling just fine. And I actually started moving my mouse because I've been playing a lot of uh, Call of Duty Warzone. So I started moving my mouse trying to click on the fight button, which is a little weird. But I'm just going to Dynamax. I'm just going to drop a Max Hailstorm and uh, take out Zapdos. And I'm going to trigger with this policy easily and uh, roll from here. So I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Feeling real good. Feeling real good. But I feel like I do have to send in another sponsorship paper to uh, G Fuel. Because I did it a while ago. When I first started YouTube. It was just like. Because they have like questions on it. It was like how many subs do you have? And I, was, I, had, I had to check the below 100 one. <laughs> it was like the last one. Now at least I have a, I have a following. And I can actually check off something. And maybe maybe get a shot at getting a sponsorship. I think that would be so cool. Because that's like one of the spots. I really do like their product and all that. I would love to get sponsored by them. But Zapdos is going to get the Dynamax. And I'm actually. I'm so fine with that. Because we could trigger weak policy. And potentially just one hit KO the same. And just run the battle. But yeah, we're rolling out here. But seriously, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys mind me going on to the casual ladder? Like, obviously, you guys like me playing ranked battles more. But if I'm hopping on casual ladders, do you guys still watch? Like, I'm, I'm curious. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys still watch if uh, casual ladders are going on? Or casual battles? 
But let's go, Giga Dream popping out here. Give me my weakness policy, baby. I think she did a heap of amount. Like a hundo something. I got a crit. That's why. Like, what you mean? Critting me. You shouldn't be able to crit teammates. That shouldn't be a thing. I'm not a fan of that. It's <laughs> just doing massive amount of damage to me. Take a sword's gonna pop out here. And he's doubling up. He's gonna max up on me. And hopefully we can actually uh Oh, he's gonna air shoot. We should be able to eat this up. Oh no, you're gonna go after Compia. I'm just gonna floral healing next turn. That's fine, give Walbreen a little bit, and then we'll be thriving. He gets a crit, dude. What is up with all the crits? I'm getting real sick of this. He's gonna get a speed boost here. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do some big old damage, get the hailstorm going. And a floral healing should uh, make up a good amount of HP that we lost. This should probably take it out. Yeah. Get it out of my face. Yo, Zapdos, out my face. Get him out of here. <laughs> this absolutely don't work on these things. I'll get this full out of here. I'm actually really hyped for, uh, I have been having fun with the Sunshine Play. Hopefully you guys do watch that as well. That is definitely a blast to play through. And it's, uh, they're fun videos to make. But I'm definitely very, very excited for, uh, Super Mario 3D World, the remake. Let me know in the comments section down below if you guys are going to be picking out that up. I'm going to be doing a full playthrough on that game. 100%. I'm going to be crushing that game out the park. Like, I, I love that game so much. It's an easy pickup game. You can have a lot of fun. And it's, it's just awesome all around. I really do like the game. Especially with the new DLC, the Bowser's Fury one. We're definitely going to be ripping apart that as well. But Zapdos is gone. He has no Dynamax, yo. Dude, we're thriving. We are thriving, yo. I absolutely love Wolverine. Like, like I said in the beginning of the video, I used to use Wolverine all the time in my Gen 3 playthroughs, and I cranked out that game so many times. I cranked it out so many times, and that Lugia is acting like a threat, so I think I'm going to take out that Lugia, and I'm going to drop another Hailstorm on it, <laughs> and then I'll just floral healing. But yeah, I used to always pick up Wolverine in Gen 3 playthroughs. Like, I played through Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and then Emerald, like, multiple, multiple times. Like, whenever I used to go somewhere, I used to always bring my Game Boy SP, crush that out the park, and just, uh... Just roll with it. But yeah, Wolverine was always on my team because I love Sheer Cold. Like, that was a, a one hit KO moves, and I believe that Gen actually introduced them. And I was just rolling out, like, Sheer Cold. Just kept trying to land it on big Pokemon. Like, one hit KO, one hit KO. But Floral Healing's gonna come out here. Let's see what we get. How much HP are we popping out? We're at 2, 2, 2, 222. Oh my god, 109. 109. He's gonna go for a Sacred Sword on the Confi. Confi, that's fine. You already did your job. Confi already did his job. Gave Wolverine some HP. Uh, Trigger the weakness policy. Lugia's gonna go down here to this big old shot, unless it's Sash, which I doubt it is. Thunder Wave's gonna come through. Oh, you biscuit, man. You biscuit. Yo, what you doing? Chill on me. We're, this is why you're gonna get this Hailstorm. This is why you're gonna get this big old Hailstorm. Right into Lugia. Oh my god, this thing's a tank. This thing is a tank. Jeez. No wonder why this thing is banned. It's an absolute tank. It just ate up a plus two max Hailstorm with stab. Like, that's nuts. Um, we go in here, or we could go into. The boy. I said we go into the boy. So we go into Toxic Kirk right here. I think he's totally fine to save uh, Rotom Heat for the back end. We can knock off items. We can take people out. Toxic Kirk just does it all. He's an absolute beast. And Kalidity is part water type, right? Yeah, I believe it. I believe so. Let me actually, let me, let me actually get a peek. I think it's part water type. Yeah, so if it goes for a water move, I'm fine with that. Toxic Kirk just uh, dry skins at. Uh, do I set up the. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to set up the. Uh, and I'm going to knock off the item. I think I knock off Kalidio's item. Or do I, yeah, let's take this item off. I probably should have switched it up. I probably should have switched it up. And went with the guys on the other side. He's gonna sword me. That's fine. We're gonna eat that up. We're gonna say yummy yum. But he was gonna get a little bit of HP back from what? Oh, from Shell Bell. Okay, Shell Bell. Totally. So we're gonna say, yo, give me that Shell Bell. Get out of my face. <laughs> and then we're just gonna take out the Lugia. No problem here. Justified. Are you kidding me? This thing's justified. That's whack. We're, we still should be thriving here. We should we should be fine here. Aerobots coming through. Oh, yo, I love this move. I love this move. I think it looks so cool. That just dumped on me. That just absolutely murked on me. Lugia should go down here. Um, I'm trying to think. What can I do? How's Walrin going to handle this? Oh, this is actually tough now. I'm going to have to ally switch this turn and take out El Cladio. That's got to be the play. There's no time he's going to come in here. This thing's plus one on attack board. I can't have it going after my boy. I think he still has one more Pokemon. Yeah, he should still have one more Pokemon. I can't have him going after my Rotom Heat, so I think I just ally switch and hopefully land this attack on it. <laughs> Onto this uh, Claudio and take it out. Because the range is going to be mean damage on him. He's got to be going for a water move. Dragonite's going to... Oh, who do I want to take out? Who do I want to take out? This one's actually going to be really, really close. Dang Lugia. That dang illegal Pokemon is going to win him the game. <laughs> could go for an avalanche. I could just protect... Um. Hmm, what do I really want to go for? Do I ally switch? I think I just ally switch here. Yeah, because Kaledia is plus one. I'm just going to ally switch. 
and roll from here. Watch, my boy's gonna miss, and I'm gonna be so mad. My boy Walrein's gonna miss. We're gonna ally switch, and we're gonna go for this avalanche over onto the Dragonite slot. Thicker Sword's gonna pop here, and he's gonna be able to eat that up, no problem. And Outrage. I'm surprised he didn't go for the water move. Outrage is going to pop here. Rotom, eat it up, buddy. No, Rotom does not eat up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need a, I need a one shot here. Avalanche comes out. Yes. Multi-scale, probably. It is multi-scale. That lucky biscuit, dude. That lucky biscuit. Just won him the game. Now I can't EQ out. Oh, my lord. It's over with. It's over with, man. What you mean? Um, I don't know what to do here. He's going to Outrage, so I'm going to protect here. And hopefully try to get this thing to get, get uh, confused on itself. And then be able to just go after Claudio and do work from there. Claudio, however you know what, when I pronounce it, Secret Sword's popping. Blah, get out of my face. Outrage is going to come out here. Can you confuse yourself now? Can you confuse yourself now? You're not confused yet. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We have the EQ. I have to start doing damage to Claudio. I have to start doing damage to this thing. Wolverine's bulking up, but yo, dude, that Lugia's going to win in the game. Because that thing can eat up a Max Hailstorm. We should be able to eat this up. We do not. Never mind. They got the plus one attack. I totally forgot from the just five. And that is going to be game. Man, dude, I thought we actually played that one pretty well, but we're going to go down 0-1. Strong battle here. We can hop to our second one and try to get ourselves our first win. Now we're talking, ladies and gentlemen. He has Aurorus. I think that's how you pronounce it. The second stage of that fossil Pokemon from, uh, what is it, X and Y. I love this Pokemon so much. I actually need a team with that. So if you guys want to build me a team with one of them, actually this fossil Pokemon and the other one, Tyrantrum, bruh. Fire Pokemon. I would love to get my hands on a team with them. But he has Aurorus, uh, Mel and Didi, Torkoal, Ferrothorn, Duskops for Trick Room. This is obviously a Trick Room team. And Galarian Moltres. So uh, I definitely want to bring Crocodile here. I feel like Crocodile's speed should be very, very slow. So we can thrive and Trick Room if they do set it up. I know. He's actually pretty fast. He's actually pretty fast. Usually the ones I play are decently slow. But this seems actually a uh, mid range speed. So I'm down with it. Wolverine's the slowest. Comfy's pretty fast as well. Um, is there any way I can cancel Trick Room? I don't think there is. We could go Walrein. I definitely gotta bring Walrein in here somewhere. I think we're gonna go Comfy. Comfy, maybe Walrein? Get things started. I think we trigger weakness policy again. And we bring. Hmm, who do I wanna bring? We definitely bring Crookedile. I think Crookedile thrives. Um, and then in the final spot, maybe a Togekiss? Or Rotom. Actually, yo, let's go Rotom. He's got Ice Pokemon. He's got the Fire Thorn. Uh, we could totally roll out from here. And if uh, Torkoal sets a drought, we can possibly thrive here. But let's run it. Let's run it, baby. Because he's definitely going to be uh, probably leading Duskoth. Maybe Mail and Didi. But Mail and Didi doesn't go for the follow me's, right? I don't think Mail and Didi is like a support mod. It's more of like a you choice spec it and then you just attack with it. Which I'm fine with if he throws that out. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me. He's going to go with. But the Torkoal always poses that big threat. Oh, yes, yo. I love this Pokemon. I think it's Aurorus. Or Aurorus is the first age. But you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know what Gene's talking about. We're going to go with Sane Lead here. This one another try. The Psychic Surge is going to pop, which I'm totally fine with. Actually, hold up. First turn priority moves do not work here. Right? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. So, I say we save our Dynamax. And we swap. Right? We have to swap. Um, Let's swap into the Heat. I don't think we can... We have to wait for the Surge to be over. I don't think we can use first turn priority moves. I think I just liquidation drop on this thing. I say Wolverine, yo, save it, my dude. Comfy's gonna drop back. But I'm pretty sure with the psychic surge, let me know in the comment section down below if I am right. I'm pretty sure in the psychic surge we can't use first turn priority moves, so everything with try his ability is, is out of the picture. I think he's gonna round. What's this round do? This dude's crazy. I never seen that move. This thing's gonna round too. What does round do? Oh, it does more damage, I guess, with more rounds? These dudes are nuts. Rotom's eye pop a battery's gonna pop out here, and I believe Walrein just dumps on this uh this fossil mod and says, yo, get out of my face. I'm sick of you. I guess this guy's trying to trying something out here with round. This is not dump on This thing eats. This thing's a tank. This this thing's a tank. Um, I could go for an over I think I'm just gonna go for dark pulse, maybe look for the flinch. And then uh maybe just liquidation again. And try to get rid of this thing. Let's see how we roll. Let's see how we roll. I think Rotom should uh take the speed on the field. And now Wolverine, again, is going to be slowest. That's his only problem. And he's not setting up Tricker, man. He's not going in with Tricker. It's a little scary. He might have Ferrothorn up his sleeve. Which he might actually go into from the Aurora slot. But we'll see. But it looks like round is more damage if there's more rounds. Like, I, I, it's kind of what it's looking like. Go, make a move, dog. Make a move. 
You don't want the smoke. We're gonna make this NDD flinch. I'm calling it now. Your boy Jeans is calling us. Then I still have uh, two pretty strong Pokemon in the back. We got Crocodile and then we got Coffee, who's gonna be able to thrive. You outspeed? Don't tell me Aurora's outspeeds me. Okay, cool. Dark Pulse gonna pop. You can take out my Rotom whenever you want. I don't mind. Big old damage. That's solid damage for no stab move. Liquidation comes out before the round, and we're gonna be able to take this thing out. Say, so get out of my face. You gone. You gone. Get him out of here. Okay. So, we got a couple more turns left in the Psychic Surge. I'm fine with this right now. Uh, I don't mind Dynamax and Crocodile at all. At all. It's, a, it's such a good Pokemon all around. Uh, Warwing's just gonna chill here. I think bulk up a little bit. Eat up some shots, and he's gonna throw out. Larian Moltres, okay, so this might be his Dynamax Mon. I wouldn't be surprised to see it. Um, I could ally switch, but I think I'm just gonna Dark Pulse and force uh, Indeed to take me out, and then maybe drop an Avalanche, but is this thing going to be uh, policy? I wouldn't be surprised if it is policy. Uh, what hits harder? He's actually 60. Um, has been hurt by the target in the same turn. Okay, so this, this will do more damage. That's actually sick. Has been hurt. The, the power of this this attack move is doubled if the user has been hurt by the target in the same turn. If the user has been hurt by the target in the same turn. What do you mean by the target? Oh, if I've been hurt by the target. Okay, so this thing will definitely take out uh, Indeedee, I think. I think it will do more damage. It should be 120. If I'm the user, it's going to hit me. And Glary Moltres is protect. Okay, that's totally fine. But hit my wall ring or something. He's going to round. I think he just takes out my road time. Okay, that's fine. So not a bad play by us. Uh, do I get a Crocodile? Yeah, I get out Crocodile. I Dynamax Crocodile this turn. That's a, that's a fact. Then we're gonna get an Avalanche. Nah, take this thing out. Whack, dude. You didn't hit me, dude. Liquidation would've took it out. Uh, Crocodile's gonna pop. Crocodile, yeah. I might just protect Crooks here. I might just protect Crooks. He's shiny, yo. He's looking spippy, yo. He's looking so good. He's looking so good. <laughs> um, I could Dynamax just go for Dark Slayer. It's, I'm thinking just Worm Wind. I do have Quake. I cannot Quake on you. It's not effective at all. Good darkness. Hmm. What do I really want to do here? Uh, hmm. Let me just Dynamax Wallring here. I think Wallring's going to be a Dynamax mod. Let me just drop Darkest Larry on this side. And then we just Hailstorm. Unless this thing's policy. Do we think this thing's policy? Do I set the rain? I don't want to trigger weakness pot. That's really something I don't want to do. So I wish I did know it's this thing's item. But that said, no, let's just guys. Let's just guys set the rain for ourselves. I think that will work a little bit better. We're gonna set the rain here. He's gonna withdraw in DD. That's totally fine by me. That's a that's a that's a decent turn. Um, he's, he's gonna throw. He's gonna show his last mine. Okay. Uh, he can trigger my policy. That that's still scary though. That is still very very scary though. I could protect next turn. He's gonna Dynamax as well. We're gonna go Dynamax for Dynamax. Moltres versus my boy Walring. We still have coffee in the back, but then he's gonna be able to surge again, and that is going to be very, very tough. So I'm just gonna have to ally switch dip. And probably dodge him. So coffee, he's just playing around coffee right now. He's just he's just saying, yo, coffee, get out of my face. I'm just gonna neglect him a lot. But I wish that we would have went for a liquidation. And indeed he would have been dead. And then Coffee could have rolled out later in the match and just healed up for my team. And probably secured us to win, but now it's gonna be a lot closer. Hopefully we can still pick it up. My boy Wallring popping here. Look at him, big old tusk. He doesn't play around. He doesn't play around one bit. He doesn't play around one bit. 434. Not a bad, not a bad uh, thing right here. I don't just, I just don't want this thing to be weakness spot. That's my only problem. Dark Slayer is not gonna do a lot to this thing. This thing's gonna say, "Yo, dude, that's tasty snack." Because he's just bulky. He's got iron barbs. Hopefully, he's not Rocky Helmet as well. He's not Rocky Helmet, and the darkness is gonna pop over off the Wallring slot. Yep. Wallring says, "Yo, hey, hey, yo, that's tasty, baby." That's real tasty. And we're going to get a special defense drop, which is a little scary, but at least Ferrothorn's physical. At least my boy's physical. Guys, just going to pop. Like I said, I'm not triggering weakness policy. I'm just trying to do damage. Get some rain rolling here for my, myself. We want to do that. Get that popping. Give me the rain. Give me the rain, baby. Um, dude, this thing is super scary. This Ferrothorn is super scary. Super, super scary. I do have a ground move, and I do have speed. I'm going to go for EQ. I think I just guard here. We just max guard this thing. Yeah, let's guard. Let's hit the Elgardo. Let's hit Elgard. He's got to be doubling up into me. Something like that, right? He's got to be maybe trying to drop another max darkness. I'm gonna try to do some damage with this thing. EQ's gonna pop. Blah. It's not gonna hit Moltres, but I'm trying. Like Firethorn just posed such a big threat. Wait. Okay. I, I was gonna say it doesn't affect Firethorn. I thought it, I thought I saw it for a second. But we're gonna block this up. 
Please go after my warring. Leech seed. Block it on my face. You good max card by me. Um. Mm. Now what's the play? Now what is the play? But I don't want to really berserk boost this thing. There's no more of that. I could get in my coffee. And I think that's the play to get into my coffee. Right now. I say we swap. With coffee. And then we uh go drop hail. I think I drop hail on this thing. We get rolling. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get after it. Get after it. He might leech see me again. Look at how I was gonna drop. Alright, let's get our coffee now that the surge is near. We might swap back in Indeedy for the coffee. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Here comes the darkness. Go run on Walrein. Walrein's gonna be able to eat a little bit more. He's, he is gonna be able to outspeed the Fire Throne, which is very, really, really nice. And this thing goes for a Leech Seed, then we're, we're not sitting pretty. Oh, we're not Leech Seed. If this thing goes for like a Power Whip, we're not gonna be sitting pretty. But Hailstorm, hopefully, I don't think it will be able to take it out, but hopefully, maybe we get a crit or something. We do not, we're not able to take out. His Dynamax turns are over as well. Um, now, the real question is, there, there, there's, this is a big question. This is a big question. He has policy. Okay. This is a big, big question. I think I have to take that, that Moltres out. I think Moltres has to go out. He's plus three. I think we have to go after him with like a, with like a floral healing. This thing's going to iron defense. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. He's bulking. He's bulking, bulking. I think we're all physical, bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Okay. The play here. What's the play? What's the play? I really want to heal up the wall ring, but Moltres gotta go. He's gotta go. And this thing's just gonna be able to dump on me with like a gyro ball or something. This thing's posing such a big threat. We gotta go for a draining kiss and take out the Moltres. That, that, that's the play. And then maybe tr try to drop avalanches. Try to do something up against this thing. The Draining Kiss gotta pop out here. Take you out. I'm not dealing with it. Uh, then we got an Avalanche drop. We got an Ab drop. Let's see. Dude, this thing's just gonna keep bulking up. It's gonna be so strong. It's gonna be super, super strong. And then who was this final Pokemon? We might go down 0-2 here. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're, at least we're playing some good battles here. Oh, you biscuit, bro. You biscuit. You're gonna protect. Draining Kiss is gonna get blocked. If he was smart, he would swap into Indeedee whenever he wants. Body press. You outspeed my Walry now? You outspeed my Walry now? I thought Walry was outspeeding you all day. Okay. Okay. I, I, I guess that's how it goes. And right, now we just drain kiss. His final Pokemon is Indeedee. I just don't want that thing to have a shot. I'm going to get our uh, HP back. This one's super, super close. I'm, I'm a big fan of these battles that we're having so far. Like, first battle was really, really close to us winning again. If he didn't have Lugia, we'd take that any Pokemon out in one shot. Just Lugia's just an absolute bulk of a Pokemon. We would have won that game. And this one's super, super close. Really close. At least we're getting some, like, ranked battle quality battles in casual. So, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Even if, even if we are going to lose, as long as we get some good battles in and have some and I have a good time, I'm thriving with it. I'm thriving with it. So, we're going to go here. Um, I got to drop an EQ. I think EQ's our best bet. Or maybe we just protect this turn and save our EQ. Uh, now nah, we got an EQ here. We got an EQ. Let's get after it. Let's go, baby. We have the EQ. We need something to stab. We need to do some big damage for this, uh, this Parathorn. I knew he was going to be such a big threat. He's just such a big threat. This, that's why I did bring the Rotom Heat, but he just got absolutely murked on when I swapped him out for the Comfy in the beginning, which was a rough play. I think we need a Rotom Heat way more than we need a Comfy. The EQ is going to pop here. Give me a crit or something. He's bulked, man. He's bulked out the buns. That's probably gonna take us out. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's GG. He gets a crit too, dude. Farathorn OP. Farathorn OP, but we're gonna drop down to 0 and 2 for this video. Not bad battles, like I said, but yo, you guys already know the deal. Your boy does not. He does not go 0 and 3. Especially in casual battles. Especially in casual battles. So we're gonna hop into that third and final battle and get that win for you guys. Cause I'm gonna just run this battle. I really am just gonna run this battle. This one's totally over. You guys already know it. The Fire Throne's bulked up. And then once the Psychic like, Surge comes in, we cannot move. We cannot move. But actually, let me test my theory. Let me test my theory so I know. And I don't have to wait for the comment section. But I'm pretty sure Comfy can't move in the Psychic Surge. Basically, cannot do anything. Let's see. Let's see. Because if not, I would have kept Comfy in the whole game and uh, triggered Weakness Policy and Just won the game. 
Let's see it. Let's see, Comfy. What you got? Right, ready, watch. Most possible. Let's see. Good, Comfy. Let's see what you got, Comfy. The move should still come out. I, I think, it, like, I'm pretty sure it just gets canceled out. It's like, oh, the second terrain's up. But it should, like, just cancel out the ability. You know what I'm saying? Like, he should still be able to hit, just not go first. But let's see. Let's see, Comfy. Comfy, what you got? What you got, Comfy? Training kiss. Yeah, see? Protected by the second terrain. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So he just played around Comfy and absolutely dominate. We cannot run because I want to try this thing out. But yeah, I knew it. He cannot actually hit off. But that the second terrain shouldn't just have Comfy not do anything. It should just like cancel out his ability. Third and final battle popping off here. We're trying not to go 0-3. We're trying not to go 0-3 here. Hopefully, your boy can do it. Get that win for the Jeans online gaming community. But if not, it's all good. We still have some very good battles in this video. But we're rolling out here. This guy has Incineroar, Dragapult, Galarian Moltres, Theraldon, Metagross, and the boy Moongo. So um, I feel as Krugodile's got to come in here. Huge ground threat. Does a lot of work on the Duraludon. Does work onto the Incineroar and the Metagross. Just all stabs super effective with the ground. So he's definitely going to be popping out here. I don't think we bring Walrein here. I feel like Walrein just doesn't really do too, too much. Um, I don't need a special attacker to roll out. E. Because that dude, that, uh, that Incineroar is posing such a big threat. He's posing a big threat here. So maybe we go Rotom as a lead? Let's see. Let's see. I definitely want to bring Krugodile. Like I said, Krugodile is just a good lead. Uh, maybe we go Tokus and we try to get some... Uh, Try to get some crits. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Tokus into Rotom, bring Crocodile, and then in the final spot, Toxic Croak in the back. Hmm. Is Toxic Croak gonna be that that play? We got the knockoff, which does absolute work. Um, the Muscle Band, or do I just want to roll Wall Ring? Maybe we can eat up a shot and do some work in the later rounds. So we do have that Ice. We do have that Water typing. Let's get it. Let's get Wall Ring in the back. Let's roll after it and let's try to get ourselves a dub here. Hopefully, this team is actually pretty tough to get a dub with. They're very, very strong Pokemon, but they feel like they uh, they start off strong and then they kind of like, like towards the end, once you lose your Dynamax or lose the Wall Ring, it's kind of tough to get a win because they're all kind of neutral. Like, you don't have a Tailwind, you don't have a Trick Room or all that good stuff. But we're looking to get it. We're looking to get it here. Come on, baby. Let's go. He's going to send out Incineroar and Amoongus. That's uh, I kind of seen that coming. So that's a smart lead. We're gonna go with Tom and Koka, so no no big drops here. I could just drop an overheat and then we'll switch out, which I think might be the play. Intimidate's popping, doing nothing. It's doing nothing. He's, he does have fake out ready to go. Um, I could follow me the fake out, right? No, I think fake out does come out first. But I'm just gonna go for this air cutter and double up into him, and then I think I just overheat and try to drop and potentially volt, volt switch out next turn. But he is gonna fake out one of my Pokemon, so hopefully maybe it's Tokus. Let's see what he does. Fake out onto Tokus. Okay. I'm totally fine with that. I'm going to overheat here. Do some big damage. Maybe we can take this thing out. That'd be amazing if we can. Get it out of my face, yo. Lovely little turn there. I can Volt Switch next turn, and we'll be thriving. I could just follow me. But I don't think I am. I don't think I am going to be dropping a follow me. I definitely got to Volt Switch out. No kiss flinches. That's totally fine. I know we outspeed this Incineroar. If I can Volt Switch out, we can get a, we can get a Rotom back into the action. But smart play there to get that thing out of the way. Uh, definitely Volt Switch. We should be able to outspeed both these guys, no problem. And uh, get my boy out of there. So let's go with an air cut, I guess. Hmm. Could go ahead and slam more easily. Oh, we could trigger anger point like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're just gonna go with that. He's probably gonna take me out here, and I'm just gonna volt switch and a swap. Uh, let's go into the Metagross slot. Let's go into the Metagross slot. Do a little bit of damage onto it. Let's see, volt switch. Yo, we out of here. We out of here, dog. So what moves do I think he's gonna drop? So either probably a dark move or a steel move. That's really what I think is gonna happen. But I think steel moves going after him. I think we uh. Let's pull out wall ring. Yeah, let's pull out wall ring here. He's, he's pretty. He's, he's thickums. He's thickums. He can eat up a shot. Let's bring out the wall skis. The wall skis, baby. <laughs> he's going to get out here. And uh, Tok is probably going to go down here. He's going to get off an air cutter, which is lovely. Show me a little bit of crit action. Probably crit on that Incineroar, right? Yeah, we got that crit on both of them, hopefully. Yeah. We got air cutter, scope lens, and super luck. Ice punch popping out off here. Should be able to eat that up. Yeah, Tok says, yo, dude, that's tasty. And this thing's going to snarl. And Togekiss is going to avoid. But we are, that's actually big. Yo, Togekiss avoids? That's big. Because this thing's physical attacking. I don't, I don't care about that. So I'm just going to go for another air cutter. And I am just going to liquidation. And who do I drop? Who's posing a bigger threat here? I mean, I think Metagross poses a bigger threat. Let's get Metagross. We got to do damage on this Metagross slot. I'm not dealing with it. Metagross is too strong, man. Too strong. So I'm going to go after that. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Because again, we still have Dynamax. 
and we still have Crooked Out and Rotom Heat in the back. Rotom Heat's back to normal, his stats are fine. We have to overheat off, we took out a move. So I feel like Metagross is his big threat of damage Pokemon. So hopefully we can tell to get out of here. And good call by me. He's gonna swap out the instant roll for another intimidate drop. And Moltres is gonna get popping. Uh, hopefully we do not trigger Berserk. That'd be a little scarier. And he is gonna Dynamax the Metagross, man! The Crookedile was a good call. Crooks, crooks, crooks. We got crooks all day. And we do have Bolt Switch Rotom. So got the we still got the heat skis. We just work all around it. And he is levitating. The Metagross is popping. He's, he's a scary mod. I think we Dynamax Rotom once uh, one of my Pokemon go out. Air Cutter pops here. Doing some damage. Maybe get some crits. Let's see. Crit on the Moltres, yep. And a crit on the Medigo. So I don't know how high the crit chance is. You gotta be close to 100. Here comes a Hailstorm. I'm fine with that. You can Hailstorm it. I gotta get out Rotom Heat now. I got. I think Rotom Heat's the Dynamax Pokemon here. We can Flare and potentially take out that Metagross. I think we flare and potentially take out that Metagross. I know we outspeed it. We should be able to eat up a shot from the Moltres all day. Liquidation comes out here. We're doing a decent amount of damage onto it. Not bad. And yeah, dude, let's get out Rotom Heat. He's got to be our Dynamax Pokemon. Right? Heat? Heat or Crooks? I think. I said we go. I said we go him. We go Rotom. Rotom's got that berry still as well. We're going to Dynamax him. I'm going to take out this Metagross. I'm going to take out this Metagross. And I do drop an avalanche onto that uh that bird. Tell to go home. I'm sick of him and his actions. <laughs> Alright, let's go heat here. And then avalanche. Because I think Moltres outspeeds me, hits me, doubles my attack power, and then we take that thing out. I think we take it out regardless. It's 60 base, but still super effective. Come on, and stab. Like, come on, man. What'd you want? Let's see what he does. Metagross could potentially a guard, which would be the smart play. But right now we're sitting good. We're sitting good looking for that one win for your for you guys. For the jeans online gaming community, baby. You guys already know it. We looking for it. Big Pizza Ovens trying to pick it up for you guys. I feel like this was their smart call. We had two very good battles in the past. If our past two battles were, were fire. They were really good battles, really close. They ended up us not winning, but still. I'm actually glad we got them on recording. Flair's gonna come out here. We're gonna say, yo, Metagross. Come here. Come here, Metagross. Get out my face. Out my face, Metagross. You're done. I'm sick of you and you dominating all the Series 7. Everybody knows he's like top tier right now. He's so strong and just ridiculous. Metagross, out of here. Go ahead, blow up into big fireball. We don't need you. We don't need you. And then my boy Walrein's gonna take a hit here. No, yeah, he is gonna take a hit. We're gonna double up this damage right here. And we're gonna say, hey, yo, Moltres, come here. Come here, Moltres. Out my face. Get out of here, boy. We're saying, yo, we're dominating this battle. And this one's over. This one's over. This is what you guys came to see. Not Jeans getting smacked up in battles number one or two. You came to see Jeans in battle number three. Slapping up on Fools, telling them to go home. But we didn't even need Crookedile. We didn't even need him. And I thought Crookedile was going to be our star-studded Pokemon for this battle. But we don't need him. Because we are the best. We are the best online gaming community Pokemon player on planet Earth. We can go Max Lightning and Liquidation. And I think this dude's just going to quit it out. Might fake out my Walrein. Does not. He's just going to say, Hey, yo. Take out my big cat. You earn this win. I say, Hey, yo. Out my face. And send more. GG, baby. Let's get it. Big win there. I'm so happy we didn't go 0-3. I'm really, really happy about that. We go, uh... One and two, which isn't bad. Like I said, we had two strong battles. The third battle was strong as well. We played really, really good on that one. Kind of made up for our mistakes in battle number one, too. And we were able to pick up that win. Big fan of this team right here. Gale, thank you so much for dropping it. I want to show off Wolverine for a good bit now. And now we finally have done it. And he's an absolute beast. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.